Hi, this is Steve Knight and welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. Starting with the Euro and the pair charged higher on the charts as the US dollar tanked. The market now views the chance of a US rate rise at approximately 40% down from 54% the week before. The subsequent devaluation of the Chinese Yuan has complicated matters for the Fed and has the potential to delay a September rate hike. On the news front, keep an eye out for the German CPI figures due tomorrow as the surprise may impact the Euro. Turning to the pound and the pair pushed higher thanks to the sell-off in the US dollar but it failed to break through resistance at 156.60. On the fundamentals front, the UK unemployment rate was steady at 5.6%, however the claimant count improved slightly falling 4.9 thousand. Moving forward, keep a close eye on the US core retail sales data forecast at 0.4% month on month as a strong result could see the cable tumble. Taking a look at the Aussie dollar now and the pair made a dramatic turnaround after touching a fresh six year low before it managed to rally 160 pips in the New York session. The fall was mainly fueled by the second Chinese Yuan devaluation which ultimately fed into concerns over delay to the US Fed's rate hike. On the news front, keep an eye on the US unemployment claims figures as the Fed is likely looking at them for signs of a labour market strengthening. Shifting to commodities now and crude oil managed to close up around 0.21% despite the cut to the yuan likely impacting future demand. In comparison gold and silver were the star performers closing up 1.44 and 1.52% respectively on mounting concerns over a delay to the Fed tightening their monetary policy. Finally, taking a look at our analyst pick of the day and the Aussie Kiwi is consolidating in a wedge pattern that is likely to signal a strong move coming up. The pair has recently retreated from a failed attempt at the top of the short term trend line and is now retracing towards the bottom of its trading range. RSI is trending lower if in neutral territory, giving weight to the argument that any breakout may be on the short side. The moving averages are also turning bearish with the 6 looking to cross over the 12 EMA. For more information, please subscribe to our newsletter at blackwelltrader.com. This is Steve Knight with Blackwell Global. Thanks for watching.